You can download my latest song, Shamanic Soul Chanting, and other mantra tracks from my website, jasonvalent.ca. So just to give you a latest update right now, I have uh, the Om Gam Ganapati Namaha mantra available on my website. So any of you that are collecting the mantras from me or uh, trying to get the, all, all the downloads there for your phone, uh, that's my latest update this week. And I'll be putting up, uh, you know, another one pretty quick here. So uh, yeah, check out my website, jasongaland.ca if you get a chance. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the news there. So now that I got that out of the way, today I'd like to talk to you about uh, humility and healing. Okay. Now, the reason why this comes up over and over and over again is because most people think that humility is something to do with, uh, you know, their identification with being spiritual, right? So, you know, the irony is, you know, sometimes I'll speak to people about humility and they'll say, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm the most humble person around. I'm, I'm the, I have so much humility. I'm so humble. If you're saying this, there's a very strong chance you're not humble at all because you're saying you're actually bragging about the fact that you're actually humble <laughs> okay so if you think you're humble most likely you're not <laughs> that's that's the key right there okay so the fact is is that it's it's still an identification if you thinking if you think you're humble there's a difference between thinking you're humble and actually being humble okay so they have to have to really make the difference a differentiation here and I'm not casting a judgment at you. I'm not saying that this is, you know, the only way to be. But what I'm saying is, this is a magical solution to healing. Okay, I'm giving you a secret right now. I'm giving you a gift. And the ones that are really tuned into me here will understand what I'm saying. This is not about a judgment or about saying people have to be a certain way. But what I'm saying is, humility is opening the door so that healing can flow in. Okay? So I work with different people, you know. I work with different people. And some people will just heal so fast, all of a sudden issues and things that they're taking so seriously just flow right out of them. And they're like, oh my God, I can't believe it. It just totally something different happened. And then you'll take another person with the exact same situation and nothing will happen. They'll just sit there and constantly dwell on the same situation over and over again. They'll say, but, 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 okay, good that you said that. Okay, good. And they skim over every little bit of advice you give them, not truly really trying to hear what it is you are saying. Okay, so this is, this is really an instructional video 101 of how to use a spiritual teacher or guru, okay? If you're working with somebody and you really want to get to the source of what they're teaching, you don't look for what you already know. You look for what you don't know in what they're saying. You look for what is it they're truly saying. Let's take what they're saying deeper and really understand or absorb that. You know, even if you can't even get it here, it's the absorbing of it, of, of letting it in. That's the most important thing, okay? So forgive me if this video seems fiery and all this kind of stuff, but this is really, really important. I cannot stress this enough. For years, I walked around stubborn. For years, I walked around and said, yeah, I know that. I know this. I know that. And I didn't realize at the time I was very identified with knowing things, with having information, and that information... And my pride in that was actually blocking out the healing energy that was being given to me in any one moment by the universe or by a teacher or by a healer. And this is just the way it works. Your receptivity is everything and humility is where it needs to start. And what I mean by humility is I don't know anything in this moment and I'm open to what is being shown to me. I'm not here to argue what I already know because what I know is how to suffer. Do you understand? If you're suffering, you don't know shit. Very important for you to realize this. If you are suffering, you don't know shit. Nothing. Okay? So I'll probably lose subscribers just from being this harsh. But the fact is, I don't care. <laughs> I'm here to heal you. Not to dwell on what's going to make your uh, ego feel good. I'm here to say this is the secret to healing. Okay? So the beautiful thing about love, if you do have love come for uh, a, you know, a teacher or a healer or, or for any vessel of healing. Say you love a tree and this tree is recycling your energy. Just this love opens the doorway because you start to say, eh, being right isn't so important. The love is more important, you see? And this is where the spiritual path leads. It's not about understanding things. It's more about how can I receive in this moment 
It's not about how can I figure out all my problems in my life and come up with the solutions. No, it's about how can I receive in this moment. Receptivity only happens when the mind quiets. When the mind is disempowered with what it thinks it knows. And when this happens, the gates of heaven are open to you. Now this is the secret. Whether you choose to apply it or not, that is where your free will comes in. And it's totally up to you what you want to do with that. But if you are suffering, and you're still holding on to all of your thoughts and ideas, the suffering will continue in a cycle. And it will continue and it'll keep going and keep going. And it'll keep on getting more and more and more painful until one day you realize the truth of what I'm saying right now, that knowing something and experiencing something are totally different. Knowing, collecting information is totally different than experiencing this moment, okay? Enlightenment isn't about information. It is not about information, it is not about micromanaging your life, and it is not about being intuitive or a psychic or any sort of spiritual phenomena. It's not about that. All that stuff is still psychosis in some realm, okay? You can still call it a certain amount of mind identification, okay? But once you actually fall deeper beyond the mind, then who you are becomes apparent, which is where all the solutions to everything is. And what I mean by that is your experience of life will be the medicine towards everything that's going on. And that medicine is what you're really after. You know, you think you're after information. You know, if you're stuck in a loop of suffering, that's when you think you're, you're needing information, you need solutions, you need ideas, you need things, you need power, you know. But ultimately what you're really searching for is the breast of the universe on which to nurse. That nurturing experience of love and unconditionality. That's what you're looking for. So you can go to that right now just by letting go of what you think you're right about. Just letting go of thoughts and, and, and your feelings around things. Let, let go of being right about stuff. Just let go of it and just be here. Just for a moment. Just do that. Okay? This is what it's about. And the longer you dwell in this place, the longer you sit here, the more and more engrossed and entrenched and, and blissed out you become. <laughs> okay, you become very, very identified with this other place that's beyond all these problems that you take so seriously right now. Okay. So yeah, just, just practice this in your spiritual path, you know. This is not about you having to be any one way, really. It's not even about you having to fix your problems. You see how unconditional this love is? It's more about you just being deeper into the beingness. Okay? All right, thanks for watching. Take care for now. <laughs>